My name is Josh Taylor and I'm from Barry, Alabama. The area around here is pretty small and rural. Um, well, everybody knows everybody. Josh grew up kind of uh, rough. I lived in a rough area. I remember that old house used to sit up here on top of the hill. Isn't that where, where you used, you used to live up there, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Just hard working. And a lot of the things that took place in his life, he's made his own way. At the end of 2010, right before I was mobilizing to go overseas, um, he, he had been praying for me and you know, he started expressing his concern with uh, my salvation. When Josh got back from the military, I had asked him what, he, what kind of plans he had. I knew that he was a smart guy, and so I asked him if he thought he may be interested in a job with the power company. He, he got hired on. In fact, he's actually working on the crew that I work on, so I thought that was kind of ironic that God had actually placed him not just in my life, but just all around us, everywhere I turned, Josh was there. Well, I heard about the My Hope Project through our church. What I understood about My Hope America was that as families, we'd be opening our homes up to friends, uh, family, neighbors, to anyone that we knew was not saved, giving them the opportunity to watch the video, and then if they wanted to be saved, offering that the opportunity for them that night. The moment I realized that we were going to do this, Josh was one of the first people to come to my mind that I wanted to invite. God says, I love you. I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. He loves you willing to forgive you of all your sins. I had the impression that, you know, you needed to, you need to clean yourself up before you make this decision. You, need, you know, you need, you need to bring something to the table. We receive our freedom purchased by the ransom at the cross. Still doesn't seem like a fair trade, you know. I mean, uh, he died and our sins were washed in his blood. I, I haven't done anything to deserve any of that. But Billy had said that See, there's a lot of things he doesn't know about salvation, a lot of things he doesn't understand. And I'm not told that I have to understand it all. I'm told that I'm to believe. As a man, you want to do your own things. You want to blaze your own trail. But I, I knew there was, there was some kind of burden on my heart and started thinking about some things, you know. Jesus Christ from the cross says, I will save you. I will forgive you. I'll make you a new person if you come to the cross by repentance and faith. Come to Christ. At the, at the end of the program, and Curry kind of stood up and said, hey, I invited you guys here and hope that it would help you make a change for the better in your life. And right then I said, hey, I'm ready. In the best way he knew how, he told God he was a sinner, lost, and that uh, he wanted to ask him to come into his heart and be his savior and forgive him of his sins. And he did just that, right in my living room. And that moment when Josh stopped me in my tracks and he said, Curry, I want to get saved. I, he, immediately, I went back to all those moments that we've spoken, that we've talked on myself and my wife had prayed for him. And that reminded me that every prayer that we prayed, God heard it. Every word that, was, that, that went out for Josh, God heard it. And he was building all that up for that moment because God knew that was Josh's time. I submitted my life that night to Jesus Christ, November the 7th.